Hi everyone, happy Thursday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021-22 Panini Donner Soccer. Two box, random country break, number one. 17 spots, all card ship. Some countries won't have autos, like Norway won't have autos, but Erlen Holland is on there, so obviously his his cards are probably gonna be worth more than more than an auto anyway. But that's the risk, but thanks for these folks here right here for giving a chance, taking a chance on this break. There are the teams right here. And let's roll it and randomize it two and a five, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Will down to Robert. And then same dice roll for the countries, two and a five. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, and then two more times, six and seven. We got England down to Spain. All right, Will with England, Matthew with Italy, Robert with the Netherlands, Matt with Uruguay, Craig with Portugal, Robert with Poland, Joe with Germany, Robert with the Combo, Sweden, Norway, Croatia, Will with the United States, Robert with Belgium, David with Colombia, Will with Argentina, Stephen with Brazil, Peter with Korea, David with France, Robert with Mexico, and Spain. Let's order these by team. And there is a trade of trade window. Feel free to trade right now. While you're thinking about trades, and I did drop the checklist into the chat if you're watching live. There it is, group break checklist. We'll drop the checklist again for you. Now let's flip screens here. Full case, this is the correct case, right? Donner Soccer, yeah. It's kind of a heavy case here. So let's pop this open. Let's see which boxes we're going to do. All right. Let's see how we're going to do this. First of all, I guess we'll select, these are two box breaks, right? I guess we'll select a column. We'll go one, two, three, four on the dice roll. We'll use we'll use Liverpool red. I'm a Liverpool supporter. One, two, three, four. If it's a six, I'll roll again. There's one, so we'll do the left side right here. And for the next two box break, I'm just gonna grab random boxes. All right. So now we'll pick two boxes. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. Three, one, two, three, top box right there. And this will stick in this pile over there. All right, so. This is what you're looking for. Tons of cards, autograph, memorabilia cards, a lot of parallels, kaboom hunting, which is really kind of, I think, the biggest draw for this kind of break right here. So I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back. No deals were done. A lot of trade chatter, but no no deals were done. So thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. I think the next two-box break is already, like, over halfway there. So this could be our very next break. We can run this back pretty quickly. Big thanks, everybody, once again, for getting in on the soccer. A lot of value in this soccer. So keep getting in on it, especially if you're lucky enough. If you're lucky enough to end up with a kaboom card out of here. All 
All right, Chad, what's up? Yeah, check out the, if you're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, check out our latest promo. We got a, we got a, we got a wax party going on and a lot of, a lot of boxes, a lot of wax being given away as, as party favors. We are, Mike. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. First box, good luck, all cards ship. There's Liverpool's Roberto Firmino. I like that they include some optic card in here too. These look really sharp. Zlatan Marvel's card, along with a press proof Isak to 349 for Sweden. And that's where Ibrahimovic will go as well. And so both of those will be for Robert with the Sweden Norway Croatia combo. There's a Pulisic. Believe it or not, United States, we've got a lot of got a late, lot of youngsters coming up the ranks. Could be pretty interesting when we get the World Cup in North America in not too long. It's crazy that the uh, and that's the non-press proof of Ibrahimovic. It's crazy that the World Cup we're in a World Cup year, and it's going to be one of those weird. Now, well, I think not one of those. I think it's the first one ever, right? Is this the first fall winter World Cup? I don't think they they've ever done it in in the winter time. There's Uriel Atunia to 149 for Mexico, Robert. It's Phil Foden. De Jong, there's Foden again, Craftsman, press proof. And a silver Phil Foden, nice. He's pretty good. The uh, Manchester City, Manchester City player, and for the three lines, of course. That'll go to Will Hash. I like that these cards are upside down and right side up. That's pretty good too. Let's see if we can find some. I know there's a lot of great players here, but we want to try to find parallels of these of these guys.
Right, England, this is for you. It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home. There's Messi for Will and Argentina. Now, World Cup wasn't delayed. They're, I, I think they're saying that it's it's going to be too hot in the summer, for mostly for fans. I guess players, too. I think it's going to be mostly, it's, it's all indoors. And at night, anyway. I don't know how much, but I guess there must have been. Yeah, Jack's saying it's not much change in the weather. Is there? I mean, there must have been enough change difference in the weather from summer to the fall winter, where they where they moved the uh, where they moved the World Cup. But it wasn't delayed. It was just that's how they intentionally scheduled it. It's going to be in the winter time, so it'll be weird to see the World Cup during during the the, the festive season. We got a gold right here. That is. Six out of ten, Jeremy Telmans for Belgium. That is going to be for Robert. All right, we still haven't seen the autograph or relic yet. Erling Holland, Sergio, De, uh, Serginho Dest, Silver, Erling Holland, Norway, Sweden, Norway, Croatia combo, Robert. I don't know what the uh, what the market is on Erling Holland cards, but he's pretty good. I wonder if uh, how much his value would go up if he. If you went to like the English Premier League, it's a possibility. KC, Gilo saying KC's in the bidding for the hosting of the next World Cup. Trying to find property to rent out. I live next to the proposed area. Nice, yeah. I don't think that they have decided on the... Um, I think there's a pool of, of, of cities and stadiums that they're going to use, but that's not been set in stone yet. I mean, I, I would imagine some of the bigger stadiums, like SoFi and maybe where the Jets and Giants play, I think that's pretty much guaranteed to host a match or two if not a if not a bigger match like a knockout stage match but but yeah i think the other other cities are still up in the air there's kit kings nacer chadley for belgium did nora get banned from the world cup i've not heard anything like that Maybe they have. I don't know. I haven't been super sharp on, on soccer news lately. This is for Robert in Belgium. I know they're not that great, so I think they've had trouble qualifying. Different insert, Messi. And I like uh, Diago Jota, silver. Plays for Liverpool. Pretty uh, pretty fun player to watch. Is it an autograph or, or is it autograph and? It's autograph and, so we sh there should be, should be an auto in here somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. 
And you know, this year is a great year to really collect hockey. Or hockey, to collect soccer because of the World Cup at the end of the year. It's one of those things where you would probably, you know, buy into our hockey breaks throughout the year on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And then, you know, just hold on to them. Just collect until, uh, just collect until the World Cup and you can, you might see values jump up as we get closer and closer to the tournament. Especially the winter time, pretty unique year for collecting. There's the auto right there. That's a familiar player. Sort of an older school player. And it's Mats Hummels. Signature series for Germany. That'll be for Joe. Jao Felix, one of those up-and-coming stars for Portugal. That's for Craig. He may he may take the mantle from uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. first box next box yeah I'm not sure how you're classified as a as a rookie in this my guess is is this their first year they're appearing for their national team maybe I'm not sure but there must be there must be a rhyme and reason So what is going on in the soccer world? I know, yeah, Liverpool and Arsenal drew in the Carabao Cup. And the African Cup of Nations happening too. So a lot of uh, a lot of the top African players missing, especially from my squad, Liverpool, Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane. Cristiano Ronaldo aims to play until age 42. How old is he now? And the next soccer break sold out. Nice. Yeah, Cristiano is like the is like Tom Brady. International Tom Brady. Maybe they're uh maybe the, maybe they're using the same dark magic to like to stay to to stay young. These cards do kind of stick together a little bit. Cristiano's 37 in a few weeks, says Robert. 
And we've got Kit Series, João Moutinho for Portugal. That'll be for Craig. Now, it's one thing to say you're going to play to 42. Sure, I guess you can play to 42. But where is he going to play? You think he plays until 42 in the English Premier League? Or is a is there a stop in, in Major League Soccer? As a lot of these sort of aging superstars tend to, uh, tend to make a stop over the last couple of years of their career in the United States. Cristiano Ronaldo in the United States playing regular professional games. MLS would love that. Here's more Christian Pulisic. Here's Bukayo Saka for England. England should have a pretty good World Cup this year. I mean, they, they'll probably be one of the favorites. If they could knock one out, they haven't won one since 1966. That country will go, go nuts. And there's Jude Bellingham. He's, a, he's another good youngster there, too. There's Phil Foden. Ronaldo to Sporting KC. That stadium, season tickets would sell out so fast there. They, they, would, they, would, they would make whatever they're paying him, they'd, they'd make it back pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, then you might run into Cristiano Ronaldo at your local grocery store. There's Edson Alvarez, 127 to 149 for Mexico, L3. It'll be for Robert. Can you imagine? Just, can you imagine just uh, wandering around your local grocery store and turning into, turning into the cereal aisle? You know, just turning the corner into the cereal aisle is this guy, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, I think that's what David, yeah, David B. said that a little bit earlier too. Lorenzo Insigne signed with Toronto FC for tons of money. This is Matthias Svensberg to 349. <laughs> For a turbo tax like expert like me, it just makes things interesting. So, give us everything you've got. What about the freshman game that we're trying to be expensive? More Mbappe for France, Le Bleu. I know. And, if this and is we've got Arthur. 65 out of 99 for Brazil. That'll be for Stephen Flat. All those Mbappes will go to David. How, how old is uh, Insigne now? Late 20s, early 30s maybe?
32. All right. So maybe on the on the on the back end of his prime maybe. Nice silver Mbappe. And a numbered Lionel Messi. That's 13 out of 199, just a few off his jersey number. 30 says Jack, so early 30s. 30 reconfirms Rosario. Lionel Messi for Argentina, Will Hash, last spot mojo. And another Messi. Rex, what's up? Joe, John Lester's first ballot Hall of Famer, right? Is he? I don't know if he... I don't know. He doesn't feel like first ballot Hall of, Hall of, Hall of Famer to me. But uh, I don't know. I think he has... Well, he definitely has the rings. There's Lucas Martinez Cuarta. But I, I don't think he's first ballot, though. He's got the rings. But he's never really... Has he ever won a Cy Young? I don't think he's first. I think he eventually will get in. Just for the, just for the rings. I think he has, like... I think he has like a sort of a milestone win total, right? I'm pretty sure he has like 200 wins, which definitely helps. I don't know. I don't know if no hitters, no hitters are cool, but I don't know if they're, they're really part of the Hall of Fame conversation though. I mean, there, there are some... Not good pitchers or just average pitchers who have twirled a no-hitter before. I don't think no-hitter is part of the conversation. I don't know. What does everyone else think? John Lester, recently retired, first ballot Hall of Famer? I say no. I say maybe late ballot Hall of Famer. And there's Diego Maradona? Wow. Diego Maradona autograph for Will Hash in Argentina. I thought it was just going to be a parallel. Like, I thought Panini was just trolling me. R.I.P. One of the greats. Will is stunned. Shut up, he says. That is awesome. Will Will's like blowing my mind right now. Congrats, man. That's awesome. I guess the dice picked the right boxes. Congrats. I mean, yeah, R.I.P. is is yeah. He's got to be in the top five soccer players of all time, right? I mean, I feel like in a lot of lists, he's like right behind. 
He's right behind Pele, basically. So what do you say, Mom? I feel like a lot of a lot of pundits have him right behind Pele. You know, and a and ahead of like and ahead of like Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, other Ronaldos. What a hit! There you go. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everyone uh, in this break for getting in. That was random country break number one. I think another one sold out, so look forward to that in the next video, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.